G'day Worldwide, we're blue up with another edition of Personal Best. The group three, Jeffrey Freer Stakes. The favourite is Hookum. He's returning from his last start win in the Group 3 Silver Cup. Five furlongs here, so the full length of the back straight to begin with. Uh, the second favourite, Golden, passed his first into her stride and leads up very early on. In late blue, recovery run gives chase, and then the orange sleeves of Sleeping Lion. Looks like, in fact, he's going through into second position. Who come the favourite, Royal Blue and White Colours, is uh, up there as well. In fact, he's now gone into second place. Behind these is Pablo Escobar, a green jacket, followed by the red cap of Verde, and against the running rail in yellow behind him is without a fight. Rodrigo Diaz in white and green colours is at the rear of the field as they race then down now and they're approaching the last mile and a quarter of this bet, Victor Jeffrey Freer. So it's Golden Pass, Louis Stewart showing in front, who come blue and white jacket, Jim Crowley in second and then comes William Buick, sleeping line, the orange sleeve jacket against the running rail in third. Mainly light blue colours for Rob Hornby, recovery run, be only about a half length further back, shows in fourth place. Um, then there's about a length and a half gap to Red Verdon, Holly Doyle against the running rail, light blue and red, a little bit hidden as they race uh, down towards the end of the back straight. Then Pablo Escobar, Tom Marquandis, uh, green jacket, green and white on the sleeves. Adam Kerb is against the rails, mainly white with a green cap on Rodrigo Diaz. He's just crept up narrowly ahead of David Egan on the mainly yellow colours on without a fight, who's just at the rear. They turned down the side of the course, so they're on their way to home. They've not gone particularly fast by the looks of it early on here. Golden Pass, Louis Stewart continues to set the pace. He'll be about three parts of a length ahead only of the blue and white of Hookham running in second. He's getting a little bit closer, in fact. And then Sleeping Lion, the orange sleeve's gone freely against the running well, showing in third place, just head of recovery run. Red Verdon is about a length and a half behind and just narrowly ahead of Pablo Escobar as they come to the turn into the straight. They've completed a mile now, five furlongs to go. On the left there, the yellow jacket without a fight out in the clear, beginning to make progress now, and Rodrigo Diaz is the back marker. Into the last half mile they go. Golden Pass, she continues to be against the running rail in front. Running in second, who come? Making good headway, the yellow without a fight towards the left. Uh, light blue of recovery run is still there. Sleeping line against the rail. Pablo Escobar comes next. Rodrigo Diaz now the extreme left. A green cap is trying to get into contention as well as they head down to the two. Who come has just got his head in front with uh, now in second place uh, without a fight in the yellow jacket. Nearest to us is Rodrigo Diaz running on. Recovery run is next, but inside the last furlong. Who come has a two length advantage here with Jim Crowley. Rodrigo Diaz has just taken second place, but it's going to be a second running of uh, victory in the bet victor Jeffrey Frere for who coming he won it in great style by three uh, then Rodrigo Diaz is just head of Pablo Escobar second and third who can wins and pretty emphatically the four-year-old entire is not nominated for anything in the next uh, four weeks or so the second horse Rodrigo Diaz he is nominated for something it's the Melbourne Cup and you might be surprised to know that Australian bloodstock have a 50% ownership of the four-year-old. Check the odds and pick a winner.